Hello! Now don't feel tricked into thinking you clicked on a vlog and here I am with my fancy light on my fancy camera and you're on a tripod. This is a vlog. Don't worry. Don't do not fret. This is a vlog. However, this is a vlog where things might be missing. So I'm here, future Hannah is here, to fill in any bits that might be missing and past Hannah is going to give you all the clips from way back when. It was literally six days ago that this all occurred but um yes so oh what I'm gonna do is I've done this before on another vlog what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the clips I've got and then every now and then me this Hannah will pop in and be like filling you in on some stuff that the other Hannah might not have mentioned um it's all gonna get a bit confusing to be perfectly honest so make sure you grab yourself a cup and some snacks I can't have snacks because um I can't talk and eat at the same time Technically I could, but um, people might not like that. Um, so, yeah, I went to Margate last weekend. It was my belated birthday trip that I had to reschedule because I was ill on my birthday. And um, I was a bit of a naughty vlogger and I was more into the ch -ch, taking the pictures than the filming the video. So um, here I am to fill in the blanks blankety blank so now I'm gonna hand it over to um, Hannah from last week and she's gonna take over for a bit and then I'll be back and we'll be we'll be passing the baton every now and then like in a relay race that's how this vlog's gonna go relay race lovely jubbly I'm gonna shut my mouth and let's begin the vlog morning guys so it is Saturday I'm off to Margate this morning for the weekend with my sister and I'm really looking forward to it, I think. It's sometimes hard to tell to tell if you're like anxious or excited. I've also just put a sea salt spray in my hair and it has made my hair feel completely disgusting and gross. So that's fun. Um, <laughs> um, I hope my hair isn't going to blow all over the place. I'm pretty sure I've got enough bobby pins in it to last me a lifetime though. So fingers crossed. I'm getting really hot. It's supposed to be really hot today, so oh, yeah. Let's go to my game. So, you've just seen that kind of helicopter thing. That was so cool, by the way. I have no idea what that was all about. It was so low and so loud and so close. I was like, what's going on here? It was pretty cool. I have no idea what its deal was, though, why it was around. So, um, we got to Margate and um, we got there about 12 o'clock. Check-in was not until 3 o'clock. However, Brainbox here messaged the Airbnb person and was like, Hi, I'm coming down on the train. I don't have a car. I don't suppose if you know where there's anywhere where I can leave my bags. And they were very kind enough to let me check in early to dump my bags. We didn't like check in check in because that felt a bit rude to like make ourselves at home for three hours for free. But we just went in, um, left our bags and skedaddled off. Although I did have a pee first, I think. Um, but it also took us so long to work out how to use one of those lockbox things and to open the door as well. We could not open the door to save our lives. Hey guys, so we're in the Airbnb. Um, we haven't officially checked in. We're literally just dumping our bags and going to the toilet. Um, it's so hot today and there are so many bugs. We, me and my sister have just been picking bugs off each other. It's not nice. But um, yes, we are here. And that is that. My contour in that vlog does not look the one, I have to say. So when we were staying, it was technically Cliftonville. It wasn't in like the centre of Margate. So we were um, about a 20 minute walk from the train station, which is about where I am from where I live. So um, literally though, we were about 10 houses up the road and at the bottom of the road is the sea so it was lush so we went down there and it was about a 10 minute walk to get onto the beach because you had to navigate through loads of car parks and stuff so we went down to 
it's not the main beach, it's not like the main Margate beach, but it's where the Lido used to be. Um, a Lido is like a swimming pool thing, for those who don't know. And um, so that's where we went. And yeah, like I said, that was the first place that we went. We took a few pictures and stuff, and then we decided to wander along to the proper bit of Margate Town. So we did a fair bit of walking around, just taking in the sights, enjoying the lovely weather. And um, I realised by this point it was... I don't know what time it was. I wonder if there's a time on the picture but it was getting on a bit I think it was like maybe just after two or something and I was like sis I'm hungry I need some food um she had eaten a sandwich because she has got uh, a lot of intolerances the main ones are gluten uh, and dairy but there are a whole other one a whole other bunch of stuff she can't eat either so she bought her own sandwiches in case we couldn't find anywhere for her to have lunch but we went to a place called the Harbour Arm and it's this really cool place where there's lots of places to eat and drink and there's like an art little art shop and stuff and I just grabbed a sausage roll sausage bap thing and sat by the harbour and ate that and there was a really nice guy who worked there as we were leaving he offered to take a picture of the two of us which was really nice it was nice to have like a non selfie kind of picture um it's not the best picture in the world we both we're both not like oh my watch is going off after lunch we mooched along to dreamland if you've never heard of dreamland it is an what do you call it? An amusement park thing and there's also arcades and stuff. Um, it reopened in the last few years. I remember when I was a kid, <laughs> it was so bad. Um, and they reopened it and it's really, really nice. Now, if you like If you like rides and you like amusement arcades and you like the seaside, Dreamland is definitely worth a visit. Um, me and my sister don't really like rides so we didn't go on any but we had a really nice walk around Dreamland. But like I said we don't really like rides so we didn't go on any. Um, after that we went into a few of the other amusement arcades. My sister loves arcades and she probably hated me because I just did not feel like staying in it for too long. Um, sometimes I get quite sensitive ears and sometimes if things are too loud I like can't take it so the, obviously the amusement arcade was really loud so I was a bit like mm, I don't like it um, I don't know why I'm like that I haven't always been like that I think it's ever since I got an ear infection and developed tinnitus um, I should probably go to the doctor about it <laughs> but um, it doesn't have too much of an impact on my life so I don't worry about it too much um, so yeah, we went to Dreamland and then the amusement arcades and then we went to one of the coolest places I've ever been to. It was called the Shell Grotto and let me get some facts for you. So the Shell Grotto. It's an ancient shell temple accident, which was accidentally discovered in 1835. It's been open to the public since 1837 and its origin is still a mystery. Millions of shelves have been used to decorate the 2,000 square feet of winding passages with exquisite mosaic designs. Your visit to Margate is incomplete without seeing this unique subter subterranean masterpiece. And let me tell you, it's, it's fairly small and it doesn't take you long to look around it, but it's so cool. It costs £4.50 to get in and it's 
just so cool. I'm gonna just insert the few clips I got. It's very dark down there, so my footage isn't great. It was it was so hot in Margate, and this place it was literally so cool. It was like it's obviously just like a cellar, like it's underground, so it's so cool. And um, honestly, if I worked in Margate in the summer, I'd be going down there every day, like for my lunch, because <laughs> it's so nice and just oh, it's like you're in a freezer. It was so good, but um. Like I said, because of the lighting and stuff, unfortunately, none of my photos or video clips really do it justice. You really just have to go and see it, because um, it's just so cool. And there's this room called the altar room, and a seance took place in there, and I just find it to be so cool. Um, but I'm just, I hate mysteries, so it's really frustrating that I just, no one knows why it's there. And I'm pretty sure it's the only one, only thing in the world like it. Why is it there? And it was just discovered. Blows my mind, honestly. I can't cope with not knowing why. If I could time travel, I'd definitely time travel back to find out what what's the deal with the Shell Grotto, honestly. After the Shell Grotto, we popped back to the Airbnb. And I've got some footage of that. Hi guys, it's a lot later. Gone five, yeah? Um, five to five. Five to five. We've been on our feet all fucking day to be quite frank with you. I reckon we've probably done about 14,000 steps now. Our feet hurt a lot, but um, I wanna make the most of uh, life. So we're going back out, gonna go on the beach. Hopefully there will be less people. Now it's a bit later. And we're gonna get some food. And I'm wearing a swimming costume for the first time since I was literally 11. Whether I take my top off is another thing. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Cause she hasn't got one, so it'll just be me oh, on my laz in a swimming costume. Emily has not been in a vlog in so long. Say hi, babe. Hi, babe. Ha 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 So yeah, we're gonna go out, go on the beach, get some dinner, and then probably come back and watch something on telly. <laughs> we're not like party the wild animals. Things that we are. Yeah, we're not party people. <laughs> well, I am. Living our twenties to the dream. Oh yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a very cute Airbnb. I feel weird doing, I know I've done Airbnb tours before, but I feel weird nowadays. I don't know why. If they found- Do you think they're gonna find Maybe, you? but the kitchen's really cute. Yeah, I haven't, I've been a really bad vlogger, bad vlogger today. Just couldn't be bothered. I feel like you don't wanna be in it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just couldn't really be bothered to be honest. It's so hot. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, but um, you know, you probably didn't want to see my hair doing this all day anyway, so you're welcome. I know I didn't. Oh, oh, oh. and I've burnt. Um, I've caught the sun a little bit, and I literally have not burnt in years. But you don't see me often with two hands. Um, so yeah, that's fun. And there's a record player here as well, and they've got songs from the Jungle Book. So, actually no, it's just songs from Jungle Book. Is it not called the Jungle Book? It's the Mandela effect. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch up with you later. So yeah, we went back to the Airbnb and then um, went down to the beach. Um, again, we didn't go to like the main Margate beach. We just went to the little bit that there was in that was near our Airbnb, and it was a lot quieter. And because it was like half five in the evening. It was really nice, like, um, it was still super hot, like, my sister burnt all over again, because she burnt during the day, and then she burnt again, bless her. Um, it was still really warm, but it was that really nice pre-golden hour lighting, because obviously in the summer, golden hour is a little bit later, but you sometimes get this nice gold light beforehand, so that was really nice. And I was so proud of myself, I managed to take off not only my top, but I took my shorts off as well, had a little photo shoot in my swimming costume. I genuinely hadn't worn one since I was probably about 11, and I'm 25 now. Um, and I felt quite self-conscious in it, but the fact that I got up and did it was just unreal. Um, I didn't... I didn't mind sharing pic the pictures on my Instagram because I've got a private Instagram account. I don't know if I'm brave enough though, to put them up in this video because anyone could watch this. But um, if I have put them up in post-production, like post-production, get me. If I have put them up in the video, um, don't be mean about me because that was a big deal for me. So yeah, I was so proud of myself. And um, yeah, that was so nice to just sit on the beach. I hardly ever sit on beaches. I'm not like a sun worshipper. 
Um, it was just such bliss to just feel the sand in my toes, the sun on my skin, and just sit and just live. It was so nice. And um, we weren't there long, probably just over half an hour, maybe a little. We weren't there for very long because my sister was getting quite burnt. Um, because although I am pale, like I've got, I wear fake tan a lot, but I am pale, but she is like another level pale. She's almost translucent. <laughs> I hope she wouldn't mind me saying that. I didn't mean it like meanly. Um, so yeah, she really needs to cover up in the sun. So after we were, went to the beach, we went to a restaurant, which I think is called, I'll have to check. It's called Rooster. And it was like five minutes away from our Airbnb. So like I said before, my sister has a lot of intolerances. There weren't that many places in Margate she could eat. But we found this place that did um, burgers, that sort of food. And they did gluten-free stuff. So we went there and I had such, such a good burger. And I never eat burgers in public because I'm very self-conscious about like getting messy and stuff when I'm out. But I managed to eat a burger in public. It was, it wasn't a traditional burger. It was. I just got to find it. It was a soft shell crab burger, and the crab was like tempura battered soft shell crab in a spicy sauce. And I had, and it had like some tomatoes and lettuce and stuff in, and it had some sweet potato fries with it and garlic aioli. And oh my fucking god, it was. It was just one of the tastiest things I'd eaten in so long. If you're ever in Margate go there and order that because it was unreal it also just had a really nice vibe to it um and it was just a really nice place to go eat and like i said it was five minutes from our airbnb so that was great after then we went to aldi so i could buy some milk because i was gagging for a cup of tea and i bought some chocolate buttons as well and then we went back to the airbnb we could not get the wi-fi to work we couldn't get the tv free view to work we couldn't get the apple tv to work we couldn't get uh, the DVD player to work but so we had no Wi-Fi no TV no nothing um, so my sister had luckily downloaded a few films onto her iPad before leaving her house so we got back to the Airbnb I jumped in the shower put my pajamas on made a cup of tea and we watched Bridget Jones on her iPad and then it was kind of late by then it was like 11 something and we were both shattered because we'd done I think 21,000 steps that day our feet were so sore and like my sister was so burnt I'd burnt a little bit but it's not really a burn it just like caught the sun a bit um, so we went to bed um, and then I woke up at about half past four in the morning couldn't get back to sleep I really wanted to go down to the sea and see the sunrise over the sea because we were in the right place because we're on the east coast and i wanted to see the sunrise over the sea it's always been a dream of mine to see that but um i couldn't give up all to get out of bed but i'm gonna let the other hannah take over because i did vlog some stuff at like five o'clock in the morning morning guys i've just had a massive coughing fit <clears throat> and all i want is a cup of coffee but I can't get the kettle to work and I managed it yesterday but for some reason I, well it's not the kettle it's the stove because it's one of those kettles that go on the stove but the stove is an induction stove <clears throat> for some reason I can't get it to work even though I did it yesterday <coughs> it's like half five so I need coffee I woke up at 4 40 and I really wanted to go down to the sea and see the sunrise over the sea. It's always been a dream of mine to see that. But I really could not bring myself to get out of bed. Especially if it was going to be not like a very interesting sunrise. So I didn't do it. But I really need coffee. And my sister will probably not get out of bed for like two more hours at least. So... It's a long time without coffee and I also don't have Wi-Fi. We can't get the Wi-Fi password to work. TV doesn't work. <coughs> so I've got no Wi-Fi, no TV. So that's great. That's really great. 
So, what do you do at like half five, six o'clock in the morning when there's no TV, no Wi-Fi, no nothing? You put on a record and you do the only thing you can think of to do. Dance. <laughs> Luckily I was blessed by the gods and they had uh, Fleetwood Mac Rumours which is a fine album. I myself am a proud owner of it. It's a stunning album. How great does Stevie Nicks look there? Amazing. Gorgeous. Oh, all my records are falling over. Lovely. I didn't listen to uh, the Jungle Book soundtrack. <laughs> I just listened to... Uh, Fleetwood Mac, so yeah. And then it said in the little like info thing on the Airbnb that you were welcome to help yourself to any of the condiments and any of the stuff in the cupboard. So I had a bowl of crunchy nut cereal because it was there. <laughs> And I'd literally never been so bored in my whole entire life. <laughs> Only people that wake up early and can't get back to sleep will relate. <laughs> to be fair, I did manage to grab a 10 minute nap. Yay me. It's 8 o'clock and my sister finally woke up and she put the kettle on. I had a little nap on the sofa and as you can see my glasses were pushed into my head. It was literally like a 10 minute nap though and that was it, but yeah. I have someone to talk to finally, and I can get coffee. Yeah. I can't even leave the rest of this milk because I've been swigging it out the car. I've been swigging it out the car as well because I could pick it up paper this one get the most of it. Okay, so <clears throat> just on my makeup, we've got an hour before we need to check out, and my ear will not stop bleeding, so all I can do to keep pressure on it is clip this hair clip on there. I don't know why it bleeding it's I've got like where my ear piercing hole is I've got it's under that that's bleeding I don't know if I scratched it or what but it won't stop bleeding for like the past 45 minutes so that's great it's not like gushing but it won't stop and I don't want it to get on my dress or in my hair so yeah so I'm just gonna quickly do my hair <clears throat> and then pack and make sure everything is tidy my sister's in the shower at the moment um so I'll just tidy up, because that's what I like to do anyway. So, after we checked out, there was a bowling alley right opposite um, the road of our Airbnb. And we actually went to this bowling alley when me and my sister went to Margate, like, three and a half years ago. And um, so we went in, we had our little suit, well, I had my suitcase, she had a big bag thing. And they were like, it's like a two hour wait for a game. And we were like, we don't want to do that. Um, but like... I was getting really stressed because I had my suitcase and I didn't want to lug it around all day because it was so hot and I thought bowling would be good because you don't have to, I wouldn't have to hold it, I would have like an hour away from having to hold my suitcase but um, it didn't work like that. So we walked back on into town and we thought we'd go to the Turner Contemporary Gallery because that wouldn't be too bad pulling my suitcase along because at least it would be inside, it would be air and everything. So we went in there and we decided to take a look at the lockers and they were quite slim but tall. And my sister put her bag in there and she was like, go on, try if your suitcase fits in there. And I was like, "Em, it's not going to fit. What's the point? My stupid suitcase is not going to fit in this little locker. And she was like, just try. You won't know unless you try. So I tried and it fitted. <laughs> And I've never been so happy in my whole life. I could not believe my luck that it fitted in there. Because I've been fretting like all week about the fact that on the Sunday I'll have to lug my suitcase around. So I popped back to like the desk thing at the uh, gallery and um, asked how much it was to use the lockers. And she said, it's a pound and you get this little disc thing and you can keep the little token thing for the next time you come back. So I was like, result, that's amazing. So I popped my little suitcase in there. Um, I was so happy to be free from it. And we had a little look around the gallery and it was really nice. It was a really nice little gallery. I've wanted to go to the Turner Contemporary for ever since it opened really. Um, and um, 
they had a really nice exhibition on so that was definitely worth a visit and then we popped into the little cafe which had a lovely view of the sea and we didn't eat anything but we just um grabbed a drink each and then i was like oh we're leaving now i've got to go get my suitcase and lug that around all day and she was like why don't i just go ask if you're allowed to leave your suit your bags in a locker while you go off and do other things around Margate and I was like again I was like um there's no way that they'll let you just leave your bags in the locker and potter off around Margate and do your own thing and she was like let me just ask so she comes back and she's like yeah you can leave your bag in there all day and like they close at five so as long as you're back before five it's fine and I was like are you fucking kidding me I was so happy I was free from my suitcase for the rest of the day it was beautiful beautiful news we checked out of our airbnb at 11 by the way because that was the time we had to be out by so by this point when when we'd um checked out of not checked out by the time we'd left the turner contemporary it was about half past 12 one of Quarter to, to quarter to one. So after the, after there, there's a place kind of opposite the gallery called the Old Kent Market, and that's a really cool place. There are places to eat, um, a few shops and stuff, and that's nice for a little mooch around. My sister found a couple of gluten free places, which was really nice. After there, we went into the Old Town, which is the place where they've got all their vintage shops and stuff, and um, we had a little mooch around there. There are so many cool vintage shops and antique shops and stuff. It's definitely, if you're into that sort of thing, it's definitely worth a trip down to Margate. It's really cool. Um, you can do the whole of Margate in a day, really, to be fair. As long as you don't want to sit on the beach all day, you can do everything, really, for, in a day. Um, and again, unless you want to, like, spend the whole day on the rise in Dreamland. But if you just want to pop into Dreamland, there's also a roller disco in Dreamland if you're into that sort of thing. So, oh. Sorry, I just had to stop recording and export some footage and stuff and I've completely lost where I am. Well, this memory card is in better days, it's so scratched up. Um, yeah, I don't know where I was. I've lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, we're in, we're in the old town, weren't we? We're in the old town doing some vintage shopping. I'll never do that voice again, don't worry. Um, we plodded along down, back. We walked along the whole, like length of the beach um didn't go on the beach so it was very busy and we didn't want to get sand everywhere um so we walked like on the promenade it's such a nice word isn't it promenade walked on the promenade along the beach and then we found a quiet bit where we could just have a sit down because we again been on our feet for most of the day um well it wasn't even it was like two o'clock i don't know something like that so we sat down next to the water um, and just took like 15 minutes to just chill and my sister was researching place like gluten free places that we could eat and she found this little place which was called Seaside I'm gonna have to look it up Seaside Kitchen and Cake Parlor and it's an all vegan little cafe I've never been anywhere to any kind of like vegan cafe thing before um, so I was really excited to try it out and I had a vegan burger again I had another burger shocking stuff for me I never eat burgers in public um, and it was just like a standard like patty kind of burger with like a barbecue sauce thing going on some lettuce and stuff and then I had a side salad and some vegetable crisps and oh my god it was so fucking tasty it was so good it makes me so happy that vegans have like places to go like and eat great food because having a sister that has a lot of intolerances and stuff and a lot of um special dietary requirements i know how hard it is to find um food you can eat when you have a specific diet so i'm really glad that vegans have like places to go <laughs> i'm not a vegan but i do um I, ha I am trying to eat less meat after that we went back to the turner contemporary picked up our luggage and walked to the train station and then got on a train and it was so busy um i had my suitcase literally like you know like on a lot of trains there's like little seats with there's two and then like seats with four and a little table we were in one of the ones where there's a 
two seat and I had my suitcase like under my legs. I was wearing a dress and I was sat like this with like my foot on my suitcase. So ladylike. And um, yeah, we went home and it's like a 50 minute journey. And then I got a bit anxious for some reason about getting a taxi home with my suitcase. So even though I was knackered and I'd done like 12, like 13, 12,000 steps by this point, I decided to walk home, which is about a 20 minute walk, maybe a bit more, 25 minutes. Walked home with my suitcase. By this point, by the time I got home, I'd done 14,000 steps. Um, so yeah, and that was that. I got home, um, had we, we had lunch quite late, it was about three o'clock, so I wasn't really hungry. Um, I got home, watched some TV with my mum and dad, started editing loads of pictures and then had a bath and then died on my bed and went to sleep it was a very good sleep that night I think I was so knackered and that my friends concludes my trip to Margate I hope you didn't hate this thing where I'm showing you clips and then I'm talking but like I said I did not vlog enough footage because um, I'm a bit useless I think I was just so excited to be out and the weather was nice and everything um, and because I'm not used to vlogging when I'm out, it just slipped my mind completely to catch you up with the vlog and stuff. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again very soon for another one. I feel like there was something I had to say. I keep forgetting things. <laughs> um, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you very soon in another video.